Hello, crafty friends. Welcome to day one of Rosa Kelly's 12 Days of Christmas YouTube Hop. And thank you so much, Rosa, for hosting this YouTube Hop and asking me to be a part of it. I am just so excited. So uh, we all love Christmas, but I think that a lot of us crafters love Christmas most because it is so much fun to give and create things. So um, what our day one prompt was, was to make something with Christmas trees. It could be anything. It could be a mini album or whatever you want to do. But the paper collection that I'm using is from Dear Santa. It's called Dear Santa by Cardabella Paper Company. And Stephen Duncan designed this. Of course, I absolutely love his retro designs. And he gifted this to me. I think last year or it was this year. I can't remember, but I absolutely love this paper collection. It is so beautiful. Now this one, let me see what year this is from. This is from 2020. And of course you get um, 12, 12 by 12 double sided uh, textured paper. So they kind of have like a textured feeling to them. And you also get the 12 by 12 sticker kit. So isn't this the cutest? I just love this retro Santa. And I think it's absolutely amazing that he designs all his own elements to these designs. Isn't that awesome? So let me go ahead and show you what I made. I hope you'll think this is super cute. Oh, let me grab something real quick. Okay, so as you all know, Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill, she designed a book that is a box template. And I am so excited for her. So I went ahead and ordered one because I make boxes all the time. So let me go ahead and show you kind of like the inside of this. And I will give you the measurements for this box. I went ahead and skipped the first page because this might be for like a single box that I'm making, right? Like a, like a, a box that's all in one. Now this one actually has a top and a bottom. So this one you won't particularly be following along with this particular pattern design. But... Um, I'm going to give you the measurements for this, okay? And I just wanted to keep all my box stuff in the right order. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this over a little bit so you can see better. But anyway, so the Christmas tree box top is the item size of the box is 2 and 1 eighth inch wide by 5 and a half inches tall. Now, I know you're like wondering, what am I talking about? Let me show you the box real quick, okay? So first of all, I'm going to give you the link to where I got this Christmas tree. It was a free cut file, so I will give you that. It is not mine. Okay, and again, here is the Cartabella paper, and I just love how this little tree box turned out. I just love it. It's so precious, especially with all this little retro design. Um, I did use some flowers that were from... Um, Oh my gosh, I had a brain fart on the flowers, but I will let you know later at some point. But anyway, so I wanted to go ahead and create a little tag for her. So I went ahead and made a little envelope and you just tuck the tag inside and it says to Mary Kay. And it says Merry Christmas, North Pole Delivery. And um, I just love it. So we have Christmas time and Merry Christmas. And I love this little bow. I believe this um, ribbon was from Michael's. So they had it on sale, and so why not, right? Okay, so let's get on into the box, right? So now I kind of did it backwards, but anyway. So the top is a shorter edge, and it is going to go ahead and a position in here, okay? Now, um, the one thing I did forget to mention is, and I'm going to go ahead and mention it now, I went ahead and made a straight line across, and I used my um, scoreboard to help me prop this up straight. It's kind of hard to show you right now because, obviously, this is already decorated and has a bow. But you're going to go from the top of your Christmas tree at 2 and one eighth inches down, okay? And you're going to go ahead and make a line this way. The box doesn't... Um, you can't see it from the Christmas tree, right? Because if you go too high, obviously it is going to be um, in the wrong position. But anyway, I went ahead and I used glue and tape just to make sure that this was sturdy. And look, you have a really um, uh, cute little size. So this actually nestles into the bottom part. I know that's weird, right? But it worked for me. Okay. So that's how I designed it. Um, if you guys want to do something a little bit different, you know, you can. But anyway, so... The measurement again of this box is, and I mention it down here, it is two and one eighth inches wide by five and a half inches long. Okay. And this one is the lid is actually a half inch 
okay sorry let me turn this this way so that's a half inch and then this box itself is one inch in depth okay so um it can fit some stuff so hold on let me show you what i did for my sister and i you're gonna love it she actually asked for the poopery stuff they just bought a rv and um obviously when you and your husband are in small quarters you're gonna need some poopery so i wanted to go ahead and create a box of my own that would fit her little poopery in so hold on one second let me go grab it okay see how cute this fits in here so it does come in this box that i ordered on amazon um so i went ahead and took it out of the box because i don't really need a box it I have a box for it right so I'm just going to add in some little tissue or some crinkle paper I'm not sure yet probably crinkle paper right and then now it just fits right on in here right isn't that not cute I just love it I hope she loves it too anyway I just thought it was really fun but anyway let me go back on with the actual book measurements here um I will go ahead and do a uh, photo of this for you so that you guys can have, I'll do each side and you can see, oops, I meant to put Christmas tree box bottom. Oh Lord. Okay. Okay. So I will take a picture of each one and then I will go ahead and post it um, at the end of this video here, right? And I'll try to give you at least 10 seconds. You can do a screenshot with your cell phone or with your iPad or whatever you want to do. Um, and so you'll have those measurements for you, right? But um, it's really easy to do. This is not your typical box um, that you're going to be creating. It is a lot thicker, okay? And um, except for this one. This one is basically this, right? Where you have your, is it? No. This one has, no, it's not the same. I'm sorry. I apologize. This one has two, right? Two here, two here, two here, two here. You'll see. You'll see when you start creating the measurements and the score lines, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Um, if you guys need a tutorial on this, I'll do one for you. But um, it's pretty much easy peasy, right, guys? Um, but anyway, and then the other side will have a triple layer where it's one, two, three, one, two, three. But anyway, I hope it makes sense for you. I know it's a little while, but I want to have a sturdy box. Now, the paper that I did use for my box is the 110 pound card Nina cardstock that I get on Amazon. Okay, so I will definitely share that with you. Um, I went ahead and I did the Christmas tree with, um, I believe it was two layers of the 110 pound cardstock and then the cardabella is a heavy duty cardstock, right? Now you could do the inside with whatever um, paper you want, right? So you could do maybe one of the cardabella, one of the 110 pound cardstock, and then one of the cardabella again and sandwich it in between the 110 pound cardstock. That's up to you. I went ahead and left it white in the middle just to make it easier for me because then I didn't want to have to paper all of this, right? So anyway, that that's just me. You know, if you're if you're on a time budget now the back okay i did the same thing again i did two of the 110 pound cardstock and then i did my favorite michael's um no sorry park lane at joanne um and i call it the poolside colors i don't think it has a particular name but anyway this was my last piece of green so i finally got to go get some more and it's already lasted me a year so let me tell you what but anyway Guys, I hope you all love this. Next up, I don't even know who's going to be next up. Probably Tiffany. Okay, so Tiffany is joining in uh, with this with Rosa this year, and we're so excited to have her. And I'm excited to be in this too, right? So normally it's uh, Rosa and Debbie, and um, they they asked us to come in, so I'm just so excited. Anyway, um, stay tuned. There's going to be 12 days of. 12 days of consecutive crafts. So hopefully you guys will have lots and lots of crafts that you can create this Christmas. And we hope that you love it. Now I am going to be doing an Amazon prize giveaway. It is going to be a crafty item. All you have to do is comment on the videos. Okay. Like, comment, and subscribe on each of the videos and each of the people in this hop. So we have Rosa Kelly, Deborah Adams. We have myself. And Tiffany McGill. Okay. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day. And I'll be seeing you all soon. Bye, guys. Well, actually, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.
oops, I forgot to tell y'all, I'm going to have all the links down below for the paper collection, if I can find it on Amazon. Also, you can get Tiffany McGill's um, box template on Amazon as well. And um, I will give you the link where you can get the little uh, Christmas tree file, okay? It is not mine, just letting you know. FYI, um, I can't remember the name of who it is, but I will definitely leave the link down below so that you can check out their blog. Okay, bye y'all.